Let's talk about an inrush current resistor. A while back I made a capacitor dropper and I used a resistor to limit the inrush current. It happened to be 120 volts AC at uh, 33 milliamps. Now when you start the 120 volts AC it can start anywhere along the sine wave. It could start at zero or the peak value of about 170 volts. You know if you started at zero you're good. If it starts at 170 volts well then you could have a high inrush current and wreck some of your components. So we need to calculate this uh, limiting resistor here. So we take our, our peak value, which is our 1.414 times the RMS value, which will give us our peak voltage. And then we, we need to divide that by our maximum allowable current. Now in this case, this is the bridge rectifier is good for one amp, and that happens to be about 30 times greater than the steady state current. So I'm going to pick, pick one amp. Now, to get our resistance, we just divide the, the 1 amp into our 170 volts, and it gives us 170 ohms. I think the nearest standard resistor is about a 180 ohm resistor. So, you know, what size resistor we need? Well, at, uh, to find our voltage drop across the resistor, we just take a, the resistance times the, the current. So, we've got 180 ohms times our 33 milliamps it's going to drop about 6 volts across the resistor. To find our power, we just take voltage times current, so it's going to be 6 times our 33 milliamps. It's going to be about uh, 200 milliamps, or 200 milliwatts, excuse me, uh, which is only about a quarter watt resistor, so that's fine. But if we were going to calculate this at the inrush current, it would be 180 ohms divided by 1, that's going to be 180 watts that we need for the resistor. Well, that's way too large. So we, we're going to assume that the duration of inverse current is only going to be one cycle on a 60 hertz frequency. And that's going to be about 0 0.0167 seconds. That's as long as it's going to last. So to find our energy dissipated, we're going to take uh, 30 times the steady state current times our seconds of duration times the input voltage. So we take 30 times our 0 0.033 times our 0 0.0167 seconds times 120 volts RMS and it gives us about uh, 2 joules. Uh, you know, joules a uh, watt per second. So it's going to be about a 2 watt resistor. So what I did up here is I, I didn't have a 180 ohm resistor. I did have a 220 ohm resistor at 2 watts and so I used that and it seemed to work out fine. Now, working with 120 volts is, is dangerous. Um, I don't like doing that on my desk. And so uh, every time I get done with this, I unplug everything and make sure everything's safe. Uh, I, you run the risk of uh, burning up your equipment or your, your oscilloscope if you, uh, you leave this 120 volts laying around. But be, be very careful with uh, the higher voltage. Thank you.